Hi, so today we're going to be looking at Instagram and how they use their algorithm to keep you on the platform and give you an enjoyable experience. Infor Instagram collects a lot of information on you. Uh, the important information that we're going to be looking at is your geolocation data, uh, the captured content such as photos you post and videos and their hashtags, and what links you to other users. Uh, photos you're tagged in, photos that you've liked, photos you've saved. Instagram has a lot of users, so an important demographic to look at is the age group. Uh, we can find that the majority of users on Instagram are between the ages of 18 and 34. This is important for Instagram to know who to target their ads and relatable, relatable posts to. So how does Instagram relate posts to each other? Well, they use their hashtags and they group those hashtags into topics. We can see here when posting a picture and writing a caption, it gives you a lot of suggested hashtags based on the topic you're posting about. In this case, art, we have a lot of art related hashtags. This is an example of a topic or a group. A related topic would be Illustration, for example, and here are a lot of illustration hashtags. So how does Instagram use these topics to recommend posts to users? If we look at the content based filtering, um, we can see if a user go ahead and interacts with a post, it will recommend him a similar post. That's a very basic example for, because what Instagram uses is collaborative filtering. Looking at two similar users, depending on their interactions with posts, if they interact with the same things, when one user interacts with a new post, the uh, algorithm will say, hey, this is a post that similar accounts that you are like has interacted with. Maybe you'll like this post, and so we'll push the post to you, the user, hoping to give you a relatable experience. The big takeaway from collaborative filtering are the advantages and disadvantages. Um, so for Instagram, they use the memory-based approach. The advantage of that is it's, there's a lot of easy creation uh, and explainability of results. You can easily tell which topics and groups that you're a part of based on accounts you follow, likes you've posted, posts you've liked, I mean. Um, overall, it's very easy for Instagram to say, hey, uh, you're similar to this account. This account likes these kinds of posts. You like a lot of those same kinds of posts. Here's a post that they've liked. Maybe you'll like it too. Uh, the disadvantage, though, is performance reduces when the data is sparse. This means if a topic doesn't have a lot of posts in the topic, it's kind of hard to determine what really that topic, uh, what posts should be related to that topic. And if an account has not related or uh, interacted with any topics or posts, then that account is going to be hard to recommend posts to. Uh, and then we have here, I wrote some pseudocode for Instagram's uh, algorithm. So when a post is made, its hashtag will be obtained from the post. Uh, the topic will be generated from the hashtag and related hashtags. And then that post will be sorted into the generated topic. And we wait for the users to interact with posts in this topic. And the user interacts with the post in the topic, then we recommend more posts from the topic to that user and to similar users. I'll be now taking time to answer any questions. And here's my reference list.